All right, good morning. I'm off to, uh, I would say, probably Bayswater Beach this morning. I'm gonna go down and uh, practice a little bit of the, uh, the intelligent uh, flight options with the drone. And uh, try to build my confidence up to fly that from uh, the lobster pound out to, uh, sure, I'm sure I'm straight here, out to Clam Island. Not a big deal, it's just that it's a big deal. Okay, we're off.
Well, that was a really learning lesson right there. I'm down here in Bayswater Beach, and the wind is really, really strong. And it took me a little bit to sort through those functions to kind of figure it out a little bit. Uh, it was kind of a hit and miss thing, but once I understood, like, you know, I was always looking for the little bar to see that they were there. But when you drew the little box around yourself and hit it, uh, then it would come up and it would stay with you whether you're on active track or points of interest and, uh, and spotlight. I ran it through them all, as you'd say, or have seen. Uh, but anyway, because the wind was so, so strong, it was chewing my battery up really, really fast. And it went to uh, return to home. And I had returned to home set at like 78 meters. And when you're out on a beach like this, like you don't even need that eastern Canada. Like, I mean, you know, our tallest tree down here would be 100 feet. So, you you know, depending on where you're going and what you're doing, you set that return to home elevation all the time. And I took it up to its highest elevation, but I have it set at 120 meters. Then, uh, when the battery got critical, it went up to 78 meters. Well, I couldn't see it. Just, you know, looking at the sun and the wind, and I'm panicking with, you know, the controller's beeping, and it's saying critical low, critical low. And it's got it's on return to home, so where I had set it up, right up from where my truck is. Uh, the little kind of washer mode here on the platform. It was going return to home, and... Uh, I couldn't see it, and I was kind of, you know, in the panic mode, so I pushed the button, stop, return to home, and looked up trying to find it so I could just bring it down quick, and the battery just gone, gone. Like it. Then the screen went <laughs> dark. It said, force landing, force landing, suitable place for landing, force landing. I said, oh, for fuck's sake, what's happening? What's going on? Anyway, lesson learned there when you're in an area like this, you know, whatever you're doing, and when the battery gets that low, it's going to return to home. It's going to go right out to the set elevation. So out here, 15 meters, 20 meters, you know, 60 feet in the air. And it's going to stop doing what it's doing. It's going to raise to that elevation, and it's going to go back to home, wherever you were. So if you imagine if you were out in a boat working with this, and you were in one spot in the boat, and you uh, set this thing up and then you went out and shot you know, water skiers and stuff. And if your battery got low, it's going to go back to where the boat was when you started. <laughs> your drone is gone. So, anyway, I couldn't see it. And I cancelled the return to home. And then it was gone. And then it said, you know, force land. And it's beat. It's a good thing I, I was going to go down to the lobster pound and I was going to shoot that out there, but not in this one. I probably never would have got back. Anyway, I knew there was a function in here, find your drone. So I went into the menu, menu little three dots, scroll down, find your drone, hit it. And it showed where the drone was. I didn't quite understand the graphics. And then I, as I started moving, I realized what was moving was me and the controller and it showed a line straight to where the drone was. So I just didn't pay anything and I just kept walking. And I could see it closing the distance fast. And then it told me that I'm right there. And when I realized, I was probably, you know, 30, 40 feet from the return to home. So it was going there and I couldn't find it. You know, I was in the tall grass looking and just cursing myself. And I happened to look down and it was three feet from me. <laughs> there it was. Praise the Lord. Oh my God, lesson learned. Set your return to home elevation and so that you can see it. You know, when that drone stops doing what you're doing and you're excited. Because I was starting to watch all the telemetry, you know, what I was looking at, you know, the satellite imagery went from red, then it went to orange and white. It told me I had enough satellites to watch the elevation. You know, I'm starting to get used to all that stuff. And I was watching the battery and, and it went down super fast, like from 100% to 60, down to 40, and, you know, then I'm doing stuff, and then when it 
hit the return, like it was down probably to 19% and it just, you know, bang. This thing took off up in the air, you know, to this set elevation to return. And uh, so there's your lesson right there, you know. Set that down, keep it in sight, and, uh, you know, let it return to home. Because if you knew where home was, let it return to home. And probably going to paint some fluorescent stuff on the drone. Because it's the same color as the sand in the grass here. So, anyway. I have my drone.